I mean, we are literally living in the golden age of music technology. Accessible, affordable, free. And yet, we care too much about buying that $3,000 compressor that will change everything. The other day I was listening to a 1981 album, um, it's actually a vinyl rip of a Venezuelan band called Resistencia, the name of the album is um, Hecho en Venezuela, just in case if you're interested. Being a vinyl rip from 1981 and God knows how many times that thing was played before it was transferred to digital, um, obviously the quality suffered. The high end is compromised and also having in mind that this actually took place or the recording took place in 1981. Not every single engineer back then knew how to exactly deal with this new loud music. The mix is not as clean as, let's say, uh, British Steel, which is an album that was released that same year. Um, and there's a few things here and there that I think could have been done differently in order to um, improve the quality of the entire mix. Let's say that things could have been handled differently uh, with a bit more of love and care. But guess what? Despite of all of those technicalities, it's a fucking great album. And to prove my point, I'm going to play a clip of this same band playing live. The recording is horrible. Um, it's Once again, it's a video from the 1981, 1982 or something like that. The quality sucks, the audio sucks, but you can hear the band. You can hear the emotion, you can hear the excitement. And I honestly couldn't care less about the quality because you can hear and feel the sweat, blood and tears there. <laughs> And on the same note, I was listening to this artist um, the other day on Spotify, a blues artist, C.W. Stone King. The first time that I listened to his music, I swore that I was listening to an artist from 1950. In the way that it was a live band playing, um, the vocals were not compressed, the drums sounded like if they were recorded using one room mic, and the same goes with the backup singers. And if you actually tell me that that album, a seven or eight piece band, was actually recorded using only maybe seven microphones, I would totally believe you. And guess what? It sounds amazing. But what's my point with all of this rambling? We are obsessed with the fucking gear. We are obsessed with the technicalities. We are obsessed with the equipment. We are obsessed with the techniques. And little by little, without you knowing, this gets in the way of getting the job done. This gets in the way of the music. For example, I literally spent the other time like one hour recording one guitar track because there was a quarter of a second one hertz noise that ruined the take. Music technology has come to a point where you can actually have the same sound of a $5,000 guitar rig entirely for free, or maybe for peanuts. Good enough microphones have never been cheaper, great guitars have never been cheaper, Information and education is free out there on YouTube, websites, forums. I mean, we are literally living in the golden age of music technology. Accessible, affordable, free. And yet, we care too much about buying that $3,000 compressor that will change everything. Um, 
There's a music definition that I quite like, and it goes like, music is the art of ordering sounds to evoke a specific emotion in the listener. And gear will not create that emotion. Music will. Artists will. Bands will. Musicians will. If the artist is good, and the music is really good, and the song is amazing, it's really hard to f*** it up as a sound engineer, unless you have not a single idea of what you're doing. And another thing is that I, I find myself um, gravitating more and more to simplicity, to a more streamlined and natural way of doing things or recording music. On the same way, I'm actually um, liking more and more live albums or um, albums that have been recorded uh, with the band as a whole and not um, instrument by instrument. Simplicity has its perks. Um, less is more. And the thing is that obviously you would need a good product to start with. A good artist, um, good musicians, good ideas. And if you're lucky enough to have that in between your hands, that's half the battle. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, and if you know any of these bands, these unique recordings or good bands that actually play good live and that the production didn't get in the way of how the band actually sounds, name those bands down there in the comments. You know that I love hearing new stuff, finding new bands, discovering new bands. So I will be listening to all of your recommendations. Thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. If you haven't by now, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. And if you want to be the ultimate supporter, know that you can buy me a beer. I'm going to leave a link down below of my buy me a coffee profile. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you on Friday.